Hi, my name is Adironke Adibanjo. I'm a TV and radio broadcaster. I currently work at Smooth 98.1 FM. It's a radio station in the city of Lagos, and I host a couple of shows where we basically talk about health, fitness, cooking, um, and of course, great music inside all of that. I was also the co-host of a television show called The Debaters. It was a reality television show that, that showed across Africa. I've also had the opportunity of interviewing a number of prominent individuals who are doing amazing things across the globe, including some international recording artists like Fred Hammond, Donnie McClurkin, Kirk Franklin, Yolanda Adams, CC Winans, Don Moen. That was actually on the Experience platform. The Experience is arguably the world's largest gospel concert and uh, it happens here in the city of Lagos. And I also love to write. Um, so, and I like to write about about a particular subject which would be love and relationships and so what I've tried to do with the blog that I write which is called the love chest is to basically help men and women understand one another and so what I've done is I'm not trying to look at love with my blog from just a feminine perspective but also talking to the men and finding out what their take is on various subjects about love I'm transitioning that as well into the love chest TV uh, put out a couple of episodes where again it's just to get a sense of what people feel on different subjects uh, within the love space. I'm also very passionate about community service and so a few years ago I co-founded an organization called This Is How We Do and over the years we went to different communities uh, in Apapa, in Makoko, in Ajegunle um, and we basically would go on a Saturday morning and feed people in a certain part of the community and um, in some cases we would take clothes as well and pass them out to the kids, to the adults and over the years we tried to use that to build a rapport with the community so that we could bring other aid to to them as well. That has since kind of transitioned into other things and right now I'm working on a mentoring program called A Plus Mentoring Program where the idea is to bring working professionals together with inner city children um, to give those children hope, to open up their minds, to expose them to things that they otherwise wouldn't have access to. So um, those are some of the things that I've been up to. For as long as I could remember, I wanted to be a doctor from probably the age of five or six. And this was a choice of my own. I wanted to be a doctor and I told my family and they gave me the support. So I went to school, I went to the university to become a doctor. Um, but as you know, in the US, you have to finish a first degree before you can go to medical school. So I, my first degree was in biology and I, up until my third year, I was well on my way to getting my biology degree and then going to medical school from there. But I remember one Christmas break, I had the opportunity to think about everything that I was doing and I just realized that I did have a side passion for media. It was something that I wanted to do because I admired a number of people in the media space. Um, and I just knew that I could do it. Somewhere inside, I just knew that I could do this. And I made the decision that I wasn't going to go to medical school. Thankfully, I had the support of my family. At the time, I was in, doing a biology major. I decided to switch my, my degree to psychology. So I ended up getting a degree in psychology. And then I graduated with that and moved on to working at a university in Chicago for almost two years where we were conducting community research. I did a bit of research and I came across a, a degree called integrated marketing communications completely blew my mind because it just felt so right for me um, and if you know anything about integrated marketing communications it has everything to do with advertising and branding and all of that so I pursued that and ended up with a, a, a post-grad um, degree certificate in marketing strategy and after which I had I had to make a decision to stay in the States or come back to Nigeria and the, the most reasonable one was to come back to Nigeria. Now, coming back to Nigeria, I didn't know, it, I'd been away for so long, close to a decade, and I didn't know what was going on. So I got to Nigeria, and I realized that the land was truly green. So much opportunity, there was so much room for everyone to find expression. And so I decided, okay, I'm here, I'm in the motherland, and it's time 
to dig deep and start chasing the media dream. When I moved back to Nigeria, I was posted to Lagos for my NYSC and yes, I did NYSC. I worked in corporate affairs at a media, uh, well, a, a conglomerate of companies um, and they had a media company attached to them as well. So after my NYSC, I decided that I didn't want to do corporate affairs anymore. I wanted to chase my media dream and I had to take the very bold step of quitting my job um, so that I could put myself out there and go and look for this media dream and achieve it so I literally quit my job I walked away from it and just freelance you know with my branding experience and marketing or training and I did that for about six months and then in all of that time I was doing some research into how I could get into the media space how I could get into television how I could get into uh, radio and then I finally worked my way into smooth 98.1 and came in for the audition and got the job so that's how I'm here now while I was at the university though getting my degree in psychology there was an opportunity to take a, a public speaking class and I thought this would be a good skill to have you know um, being able to stand in front of a crowd and speak confidently and um, so I took the class we were very fortunate to have a, a professor who was the speech writer for one of the US presidents and so he he taught us a lot of things that I believe are helping me in my career today and um, yeah that's certainly something that helped kind of boost my confidence in standing in front of a crowd and being able to organize my thoughts and not necessarily have to look at a piece of paper when I'm talking and just be able to deliver whatever it is I'm trying to deliver. So there is a there's a huge place for taking your skill even when you have a flair for something and kind of polishing it and getting the right training for that. I would really just like to use my my voice and my talent and my skill to be the change that I wish to see. It's easy to complain about the change that you wish to see, but I am hoping to use what I have in whatever way I can to essentially be that change that I wish to see. I feel like this is our chance and our opportunity to really grow our um, entertainment industry, grow the media space in Nigeria. And I certainly would hope and I would love to be part of that growth. So I think that this, for anybody who's looking to do media, looking to be in the broadcasting space, I think this is a great time because Nigeria is very fertile. Um, and as the, the popular song goes, the land is truly green.